Okay, Mike, go ahead and load the shuttle. Now in practice, we're going to not use pre-cut lengths because that causes problems for us when loading the shuttle. The, the first one we did, uh, well, we're trying to duplicate this. This is our first sample right here. And uh, what happened is the end, we had to hand wind the last six, seven turns because we, the wire popped off the shuttle. Because normally uh, there's actually a little bit of waste. And here's the winding process. This is only the second one we've wound, so there's issues with it coming off the shuttle properly. Uh, it tends to want to grab sometimes as it's coming around. You get a, you do get a real nice tight wrap. So I'm going to pull up a little slack just to aid it. Yeah. What is? I think. Yeah, there you go. Once it gets the momentum, now you can see how... we got uh, 31 on. Yeah, 31 turns, and how many turns are we looking for, Mike? 40. We want 40 turns. Now, that wouldn't have come off if we had been able to load more wire on. So, if this were to go into production... In, we more around. Wire. Yeah, the good thing is when, it, when we get it going at a good clip, it winds a pretty good, you know, it's really a tight right. wind. So now uh, I want to take it out. I go back up to here. My the shuttle disconnects, open up the core rotator, and there it is. Pull it out, put the last ones on by hand. You can take these, slide them around to where you want. A little bit of finish up work to make everything look neat. So that's and basically it. It, it looks like the job is doable on the 900A with the 8 inch. Uh, shuttle. Um, it's, that's only the second one we've done, so um, it's just a matter of fine-tuning the process, and that's it.